I started here as a trainee back in 1982 uh, and got all my training at the power station at that stage and worked up to being uh, a shift engineer and then went away to Longanet and I came back six years later and was a manager for five years. What do the chimneys mean to, to this part of East Lothian? and they really are at the heart of it. I mean, I can remember a couple of years ago when we first heard the chimneys were going to come down, being at Kikensie Primary School and uh, the class there talking about how these chimneys mean home to them. I think they are a great landmark for East Lothian, but I think they're also redolent of Scotland's industrial heritage, uh, so we're losing something today. And this power station was built by this community, it was fed by this community, you know, Kikensi sometimes called the Cathedral of Coal. And of course, it wasn't just that people here worked in the power station, they worked in the pits that fed the power station as well. Every time I came back to East Lothian and came when I lived in Haring, they came back, the chimneys always meant that I was coming home. And it always, it always was a special significance. But if nobody's going to maintain the station, maintain the chimneys, then it's better for them to come down. I would prefer to keep them. I think they could have been kept, I think they would have been uh, indicative of, of what we've produced as a great industrial nation and I think they would have served as a, as a, as a kind of tourist draw. Um, sadly we're beyond that. This is a really, really sad day, but what a day to remember. Thank you. Let's hope it falls in the right direction, we don't all die.
Hold the position, Richard Brown, and then Brian Cox over the